the city has made a statement. This is going to be a, a complex community of mixed types of residences, of stores, of restaurants, uh, of access uh, to uh, public places. Um, they've made a statement that this is going to be the place to be. The elements I like within our master plan is it looked at best practices from all over the world and incorporated them, which I think is a very positive thing. The master plan gives you the big picture. As I said, when you're looking at it and looking at what this village can become, it's, it's an urban village. It's, it's a place where, where people will be able to walk into work, uh, where people will be able to know their neighbors because they're on the street rather than in a car uh, more often than not. Um, and uh, the, the master plan was, was a challenge to do that. And I think that CMLC has done a wonderful job with the plan. Now we'll, we'll start to, to deliver the final product. The public realm is the most important thing. To me, the buildings are not as important as the public realm, or I used to say the space between buildings, because people exist and use the spaces between buildings. You live inside the building, but you have to go somewhere, and, and you have to meet somebody, you have to go shopping. You know, it's interesting. I think that uh, people are yearning for place. They're yearning to gather, especially in a kind of culture where you're getting more and more isolated. You know, with media all over bombarding you, it's as much as you're connected, you're connected virtually, but you're still kind of alone. Uh, I, and I think that, you know, the suburban experience that we've lived for the last 50 odd years has just created a kind of a kind of vicious cycle of that isolation. Uh, it's your day-to-days. The uh, day-to-day incidentals are, are pretty key. You know, a coffee shop is, is very big. Uh, uh, a grocer, um, uh, maybe a doctor's office, or you know, uh, those kind of needs. Restaurants, definitely. And that's what's going to really make the, the East Village is having um, some nice restaurants and some fun places. So that's why I'm very excited about East Village because it is that kind of a concept. It is a finer grain city, slightly smaller blocks. Everything is walkable. And if everybody, eventually every architect contribute to it, I think it will be a really rich community. East Village is an extraordinary opportunity because it embraces Calgary's future. It'll change the way people think of Calgary. And it'll be the place that shows that Calgary is aggressively moving into the 21st century. It's an extraordinary place because of its access to the water, because it's access to the city. It's got St. Patrick's Island. It's got Fort Calgary. You know, you come from downtown, you have a very urban place, a place where people want to be, and then boom, you hit green. You know, that's very, very special. Very, very special to have.